so I hold it. Mm -hmm. Hello guys, it's Lucy, obviously. Um, I am here um, in a town called Pachuca, which is a couple hours outside of Mexico City. And I am here visiting Mexico City um, with Smile Train, and so we've been um, going to visit patients' homes, and we're here at this amazing hospital, and we've gotten to see all of the therapy that they provide, and uh, I just wanted to sort of share this experience with you guys, and I rarely do these chats, so I'm trying to keep up with what's going on here. Um, the, I think they're the comment, like, I don't know how this works, so can you flip it and you hold it? Sure. Yeah. Cool. So yesterday we went and visited a four-month-old, four or five-month-old um, little boy named Miguel, and he's preparing for surgery really soon. And it was just amazing seeing him and his parents and how involved his parents were. And um, today we, like I said, we're in Pachuca, and it's just there's so much that goes into um, a child with a cleft lip or cleft palate. It's more than just a surgery. There's psychological therapy, there's um, what the, you know, the dentistry of it all, there's multiple surgeries that go into it, there's speech therapy, and so it's just really cool to see it all firsthand, and um, I'm here with uh, Susie, who's the CEO of Smile Train, and a lot of the amazing people that work at Smile Train, and um, it's just really excited to be here. So your first question, Lucy, um, from Flavia, Flavia, is, hi Lucy. Hello. Which is the best part of traveling with Smile Train? The best part? I, I mean, I love traveling in general, um, but it's so interesting to me to see um, different cultures and how people live and what, what's important to people in different places and what makes them happy. Um, but especially with Smile Train, I get to be up close with them seeing these, these children and what these families have to go through. And it really does take a whole family. You know, it's, it's not just the child that's going through it. It's, it's, the mom, the dad, the brothers, the sisters, the friends, and so um, this is the first time I'm getting to travel somewhere to, to see it all firsthand. Your next question is, well, how did you become involved with Smile Train? How did I become involved with Smile Train? I actually, I, I've always been really interested in, um, in what they do, and I can't remember the exact moment when I got involved, but I remember I used to just tweet about it, and like Instagram about it and um, I I just did some research on them and it's they're such an amazing company and um, they've done they provided over a million right a million yes. uh, cleft surgeries around the world uh, for free for, for these people for free and um, then I me and Ian I think Ian Harding I don't know why I'm saying his last name you guys know who Ian is uh, we did those represent shirts where we just, just silly shirts with our faces on them and he raised money for an organization, and then I was all the money from those shirts went to Smile Train, and then it just kind of snowballed from there. I had always wanted to meet everyone that worked there, and then we had the idea of going on a trip, and I was immediately on board. And I was actually supposed to do this trip last year, but it didn't quite work out, so it finally happened. Your next question is: How did meeting cleft patients in person help inspire you? Well, this is my first experience. I had a couple of friends growing up in, in Tennessee who had um, had the cleft surgery, but obviously I didn't know anything about it. So being here in Mexico and, and seeing all these children that are either about to get the surgery or have had the surgery or doing the speech therapy, I this is all a first for me. So it's all, it's all really amazing. The, all these kids are seemingly, you know, very confident and, and they seem very grateful to have um, the support of Smile Train and um, this hospital that we're at in particular does all sorts of, um, covers all areas. Um, we actually met, what was it called, the, the first man we met with? Oh, Miguel, the little boy? No, 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 the first man we met with at the hospital who did the, who does like the therapy for the parents, what was it called? Who? There you are! What's the name of it that you do? Can someone ask? Counseling. Yeah, basically we met, they, they provide counseling for parents. Um, so there's just all different areas that you don't even think would go into a child getting this kind of help. Um, so it's just, it's very interesting. It just puts things in perspective for me. Like, you know, my problems are little and so it's, these are, these are real problems. And so it's just, 
it's amazing to see how um, how helpful these doctors are and how supportive these parents are, and um, it's really amazing to see up, up close. So one more question: um, mm -hmm. Describe Smile Train in three words. Oh man, I always get these questions where I have to smile. Um, genuine. How do I describe you guys in three words? This is hard. Genuine for sure. Um, optimistic. And what's another good word? I don't know. They're very, very powerful. I was going to say smiley, but that's, but everyone's so nice that works at this company. I can't say enough about them. Okay. And lastly, if you could give one piece of advice to a child with cleft, what would it be? If I could give advice to a child um, with cleft, um, I mean, I think a lot of these kids, they they go through insecurities and confidence issues, and I think that um, everyone in life sort of has something that they have to deal with, and I think I would just tell them to embrace who they are, and they're perfectly made the way they are for a reason, and just, to just embrace what makes you different. I think that that's why the world is so cool. Everyone is different. Everyone looks different. And um, just love yourself. Wonderful. Great. Is that it? That's it, you guys. I am so excited to be here. Like I said, we're going to go visit another patient later today. And um, I actually get to sit in on a surgery tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. And um, thank you guys for coming along this journey with me.